In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at using some of the advanced editing tools when you're working with PIP or Picture in Picture. They've come up with some new changes in the interface and tools, and we'll show you how to use them in this tutorial. Please look at the following example, and then we'll show you a bit about how to construct this yourself. The audio for the spokesperson is blank. It was in the original but it didn't matter in terms of illustrating what we're going to do. So please take a look and then we'll show you the process. What we have on track number one is this visual this aerial shot and it's basically a beach we're going to use it as a promotion for a getaway selling spaces at perhaps a hotel motel vacation package something like that so I need a spokesman so let's use picture in picture to do that we'll stop this and then I have this video of this gal who I'm going to pretend will be my spokesperson I'll take and drag it down and I'll put it in a higher number track here I'm going to put it in track 4 now, in order to get into the advanced PIP editing, which just changed, I'm going to click on the edit button with that particular video highlighted. I'll click on the edit button. Now I'm going to go directly to the advanced button. When I click here, I have several options. You notice I have a properties, a cutout, and an animation. Now, one of the limits I have in this particular video clip as you notice the top part of her head is cut off which is pretty normal in videoing but if she's a spokesperson that's going to cause a problem that I'll have to solve in a moment I'll show you how to do that if that happens in some footage that you are using well, on the properties button we have the position and size at the top we can flip it horizontally or vertically I'm just going to use the mouse and put it on one of the corners and we'll make her a little bit smaller, something like that. I'm going to move her over to the bottom. Now I'm taking her out of the preferred area because I don't want her to be looking like she's floating in the air. So we'll put her from the bottom of the screen all the way up to this point here. This looks pretty good and we could use it. Now when it comes to these you can use several modest controls. You could put a border on it by clicking here and you can change the color of the border. Uh, two color gradient or four and you can change the actual color you're using in your border you can change obviously the size of the border the opacity you could put a shadow on there if you want we'll click that and so you have these common controls that you have when you're doing picture in picture you also have some reflection and motion blur I don't use those much but let me show you something that's new that I think is kind of cool let's go to the next button the one called cutout I want to click on that and here we have one that says AI background remover. Now I might want her background there, but in this case, let's see what it looks like without that. I'll just click on that and it will process it. I can change the edge thickness, etc. But it did a pretty good job in this case of removing the background. Now let me show you a gotcha when you use this. I go back to properties. Oh, I want to border around her and I want to border around the entire image. If I click on border, it only borders what's left of the image so everything that's cut out the border doesn't touch I could also put a shadow back in but I don't want either of those with her I don't think it's appropriate so that's a limitation if you do a cutout it changes the area of the picture that's impacted by all these properties but the cutout is kind of what I want so I'm going to stick with it so I can also do another thing which is cool I can click on the animation button at the top and I have a host of animations I can do in or out or loop but there's a host of really nice ones I'm going to stay with my in animation and I'm going to click on the ripple 01 here let's see what happens it comes out from the center that's not too bad I like that and if I want to change the duration of the animation and slow it down all I need to do is move to my timeline use a double headed arrow and I can lengthen the in animation so it's slower or I can speed it up so it's very very quick so we'll speed it up in this case 
But now we have a very quick in animation. We have the background remove around our spokesperson. I'm going to click on OK. Now the other problem I'm going to have here is because this image was shot with part of her head cut off at the very top, it doesn't look natural. I want to change how that works. So what I'm going to do, let's click here, is make some changes when I bring in my title. So let's give myself a little bit more room so you can see all the tracks we'll be using here. And I have music at the bottom which I muted and let's move up a bit. I'm going to take a title so let me go back and close the window here go to my titles and uh, I have a custom title that I used which was built on another one called Southern Getaway so I'm going to click on that and drag it there's our, my title and drop it down on a track that's above the gal put it there and if I play this it kind of works except the the odd thing you see is that her head is cut off now that's not exactly what I want I like the motion title it works pretty good let me make it longer here well at least match the duration that she's on the screen here and so it's functional but it's a still bit distracting at the top and the title doesn't have a background so what I did and this is a good way to fix this kind of problem is I took a gradient a color board and put it behind the title so I have my motion title and then what I did I went to the media room and we'll open up the side panel and then I went to my color boards and I choose a gradient color and I went to this aqua one and I dropped it down to track number two so that's all I did so and I resized it so let's make that visible I have it invisible right now and we'll turn it back on there is my aqua color board so I'm going to take the color board and edit it so I have to change the location and the size first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my title and I'm going to make it invisible that allows me to click on my color board I'm going to take it and move it up so it matches right at the very top edge of her head and we have a little bit of a snap to action going on there then I'm going to take my title and turn it back on and I probably will have to reposition that so I will move it so it looks like it's about in the center of my color board that's not too bad and so now when I play this we do have the limitation in the way in which my spokesperson was shot let's see how it works here we'll play for a bit but it doesn't seem too unnatural now she's in sense behind the sign and that uh, adjustment makes it work pretty good so if you run into a situation like this where you're doing a picture in picture especially with a person or something you can compensate for some limitations in the original footage we hope this has been helpful as we looked a little bit at advanced picture-in-picture -picture editing in CyberLink PowerDirector.